Greetings from Henry Palowski of Alpha Technologies. Uh, today's webinar is going to be on the use of film with rheometers from Alpha Technologies. Uh, the first question everyone always asks is, why do I have to use film? Well, rubber contains a variety of ingredients and chemicals that can contaminate the dyes. This contamination often makes the dye slippery and reduces the torque signal measured by the rheometer. If you continue to run tests without film, the day-to-day -day variation will increase because the contamination will increase. In addition, the seals in the MDRs and the RPAs will need to be replaced more often. Uh, the use of film also speeds up productivity by reducing the cleanup between tests. So to summarize, the film reduces the contamination of the dyes, increases seal life, and improves productivity. Some additional comments about the film are that you should use the same film for a particular compound that you're used to using all of the time. If you change the film, there is a pretty good chance that the data will change slightly. So you are much better off keeping the same film combination for any given compound. In addition, even if you keep the same film grade and go to a different source, there's always a chance that the data will change uh, because of some attribute of the film. These now are the recommendations that Alpha Technologies has for our various rheometers. Uh, first, we will discuss the Mooney viscometer. The Mooney uh, working section consists of an upper and a lower die and a rotor. The rotor will os uh, rotate in one direction at two revolutions per minute uh, when it follows the normal ASTM standard. When you look at a closed Mooney die, what you see is the sample uh, embedded around the rotor. There are three different popular combinations of, of film used in the Mooney viscometer. Um, one, the simplest of these is to use one sheet of film on top of the sample. The second uh, most popular is to use one sheet on top of the sample and one sheet on the bottom of the sample. In some cases, when the material is exceptionally sticky and difficult to remove, then there is one sheet put on top of the sample, one on the bottom of the sample, and then one um, on the rotor, on the top part of the rotor, and one on the bottom part of the rotor. So there will be four sheets of film. This can have an effect on the data, but on the other hand, it is much easier to clean and change samples. The film that would be used in the uh, case of a single sheet of film is the F0141 film. This is, uh, comes already in pre-cut sheets, would be placed on top of the uh, sample before closing the dies and should simplify the removal of the sample. In the case of using two sheets of film, one on the top, one on the bottom, the bottom sheet of film, uh, the shaft must go through the uh, film and there should be a hole there. Uh, one option is to use the F0141 sheet and fold it as shown here in the illustration and then cut the corner which then will create a hole in the center. An alternative is to use the F0310H film which already comes with a pre-cut hole in the center. Now we are going to discuss the films used in the moving die rheometer or MDR. The MDR die is illustrated here and both the upper and lower dies are identical. This is a cross section of the two dies with the sample in the middle. There is one very popular a uh, film combination for the MDR, which is to use two sheets of film. One is placed on top of the sample and one is placed on the bottom of the sample. And this creates, in essence, a film sandwich using the film, as, in a sense, as the bread and the sample as the uh, item in the middle of the sandwich. 
There are two choices for the use of the film at the upper die. The first is the F0141. This comes already in pre-cut sheets. It is a very good film to use for cure data. Uh, if, on the other hand, you need dynamic data, which consists of S double prime and tan delta, then the F0143 S film is recommended. In the case for the lower die, uh, the, again, for cure data, the F0141 film uh, does the job uh, at, the, uh, at the lower die. If, uh, again, you would like uh, dynamic data, then you need to use the F0143 film on the lower die. In the case of uh, samples that leak and, and blow by the lower seal uh, or cause other issues, the F0201-S film is an alternative. It's especially useful when running MDRs at angles of one degree or three degrees of arc, which are much higher than the uh, normal half degree of arc. Uh, another option that is uh, used occasionally when uh, the samples have some unusual properties and it is difficult to collect good repeatable data is to use four sheets of film. Two sheets are used at the top and two sheets on the bottom. But these two sheets are not the same. Uh, the, the F0141 film is placed so that it is in contact with the die and the F0143-S film is placed in contact with the sample. This is the combination used at the upper die. And at the lower die, uh, the same combination is used again where the F0141 film is used on the die and the F0143-S film is used against the sample. In the use of automation, uh, instead of using sheets of film, we have to use rolls of film. Uh, the most popular film for the MDR automation is to use uh, simply two sheets, one sheet at the top, one sheet on the bottom. And the choices for the automated MDR upper die are the F5058 roll of film. Uh, this is very good for cure data. If dynamic data is required, then the use of F0143 film is uh, recommended. In the case of the lower die, again, for cure data, the F5058 film is recommended, and for dynamic data, the F0143 film is recommended. In the case of uh, uh, the use of high oscillation angles of one degree or three degrees, or the presence of significant blow-by, then the F0201-R film is recommended. Um, now we are going to discuss the films used in the RPA. Uh, again, the RPA die system is very similar to the MDR, both the upper and lower. And this shows the cross-section of the RPA die with the sample. And again, the most popular uh, film combination is to use two sheets, one on the top of the sample, one on the bottom of the sample, to form this, the film sandwich. Uh, the choices for film in the uh, RPA are the F0141 film at the top, uh, at the top uh, to get cure data or the F0143-S film to get cure data and dynamic data. In the case of the lower die, again, the F0141 film is a good choice for cure data the F0143-S film is good for cure data and dynamic data. And again, when getting a lot of blow-by um, and running higher strains, the F0201-S film is recommended in place of the F0143-S film. In the case of the automation, again, we need to use rolls of film instead of sheets. And again, the most popular combination in automation is to use one sheet on the top, one sheet on the bottom. The rows that we use uh, for cure data are F5058 at the top, 
and the al alternative for the use with dynamic data is F0143, uh, which comes in a roll. There is an alternative for the F0143, which is the F0224. This can take the place of the F0143. Usually, if there are problems with the F0143 film in the automation, the F0224 can be used as an alternative. For the lower die, the F0, F5058 roll is good for the cured data. The F0201-R uh, comes in roll form and is good for the cured data and dynamic data. Again, if there are some issues with this film, the F0224 film can be used in place of the F0201-R film. And again, these are for getting both cured data and dynamic data. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed today's webinar. And this is Henry Pulowski, Senior Scientist with Alpha Technologies, wishing you a goodbye for now and looking forward to presenting uh, more in the future.